Hi everybody, Gwen Lawrence here. Thank you so much for joining me for my Power Yoga for Sports training kits. And we are talking today about cycling and more specifically, my top yoga moves for cyclers. We're gonna try and get these two minutes each. If you can't quite do it, that's okay. Build it up in time, you'll get it. If you have a little more time, a little more strength, do it a little bit longer. Work out with me to this video or memorize them and do them on your own. But let's get started. You're gonna come onto your hands and knees. You wanna have a nice pliable back and spine. So shoulders over, elbows over wrist. This is table pose in yoga. Hips right over the knees and toes are untucked. If you get cramps in the toes, it's okay if you tuck the toes. We're gonna do cat cow. So Halloween cat, you're gonna push the floor away, chin to chest, and release, arch the back, chin up, shoulders always out of the ears. And just keep going like that. Some days you're gonna to wanna to go really fast, get some fire out of your belly, and some days you're gonna to wanna to be very mindful and slow, push, and release. Chin up. I'm gonna go slow today, but you gotta do whatever you wanna do. Do what feels right for your body. <coughs> That's what happens if you stretch, <laughs> sorry, up enough with that chin, you might cough a little bit. This is the real deal here. This is not perfection. This is what it is. I'm always filming live for you so that you get the real deal. No smoke and mirrors, no editing, no hair and makeup, clearly. Put your favorite tunes on if you want. That helps you get through it a little bit better. Almost there. back to neutral swing the legs around and let's come on to our backs so we know strong legs yet flexible legs super important this move we're gonna do is opposite arm opposite leg if you've ever done my workout videos my yoga videos you've seen this before stretch it out and then press the low back down into the floor. Flex your feet and opposite arm, opposite leg. We're gonna keep the head on the ground, okay? Keeping the low back connected to the floor. Exhale and the arm leg goes up. Inhale and the arm leg goes down. Thinking that your fingertips someday, if they're not already there, will touch your toes. I say it all the time, your arms are long enough. It's just that we need to get a little bit more flexibility in those hamstrings, those stubborn, stubborn hamstrings. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. You want to build a little more fire, a little more heat, a little more abdominal work. Go faster. It's all up to you. your favorite tunes on now if you haven't already you can get a little bored here and me breathe
Hang in there. <laughs> You're almost done. Go ahead, hug your knees into your chest, wrapping your arms around the back of your thighs and massage out your low back. You could do this for two minutes, right? So knees bent, feet flat. This one's gonna be bridge lifts. Go ahead, set the clock here. Interlacing your fingers underneath you. Snuggle the shoulders under. You're gonna lift those hips, strengthening the legs. Pause and dip the hips back down. Lift, pause, bring the chin to your chest, and down. It's another way to get into those hip flexors, quads, and also building strength at the same time. It's really tempting here to just push with your heels. Don't do that. Try to push with your whole foot, like you're making a perfect footprint in the ground and I know it's hard because you're watching a video, but try not to turn your head here. That could be a little dicey on your neck, especially when the hips are up to the sky. So looking straight up at all times, bringing the chin up to the chest, up and down. You're gonna get some glute strength here, especially with the paws at the top. You're gonna get some hamstring strength. Keep it going, don't stop. Using the whole foot. Exhale when the hips are up. Inhale down. Exhale, hips up. Inhale down. Put a little smile on your face. Trick the body into thinking you're having so much fun. Next one's a little weird. We like weird. Do the best you can. It's also two minutes. We're gonna build, build some strength in the hamstrings and back leg, but not so much strength that we increase tightness. So they're hip jumps. What you're gonna do is have the arms down by your side and you're gonna push into the heels and hip jump. You're gonna go as fast as you can let yourself fall. It's also a little vibrational workout. You could change where your arms are if that helps you or feels different in any way. You could even hip drop left to right. Try to get into a rhythm with the breathing. Pushing into the shoulder girdle, arms, and heels. This is definitely going to bring some heat. Make make you laugh a little, or especially if someone walks in on you while you're doing them, they're going to be like, what the heck are you doing? You can blame it on me. It's a tough one. Do the best you can. You're woo, halfway there. So we're doing two minutes. If you're getting tired, really, really can't move on, stop, take a breath, maybe even bring one knee in, maybe bring the other knee in. Release that, release that back for a moment and then go again. You might have to stop 10 times when you first start this. That's okay. But like with anything else, with time, with practice, it gets better and better and better. You'll get through two minutes and be like, how is this ever hard for me? I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna stop, take a little knee, take a little knee. It's not one that I do often, so it's tough and let it go. I'm not gonna push my body where it doesn't wanna go. I'm not gonna quit too early either though. I'm gonna do the best I can. Ten seconds. Last one, and 
Go, knees into your chest. Release that back. Good. No yogi's perfect. All right, let's rock it up. Let's finish it up. This one's a down dog, up dog. So we're gonna go onto your hands and knees. The one thing different here is with your up dog, you're going to keep your toes tucked, heels pointing straight up to the sky. Unlike a traditional up dog when you have your toes untucked, okay? So it's a down dog. Pause, exaggerate it. Coming forward, never bending the elbows. Up dog, it's not a dive forward like some fancy people do. It's just simply straight arms, straight legs, down dog, back of the body, shoulders, up dog, ankles, toes, feet, anterior spine. Exhale in the down dog. Inhale in the up dog. Maybe even a smile. Palms flat, fingers spread. If you have very tight hamstrings, here's a modification for you. You can bend the knees a little, because I'm more concerned that you have a flat back here. Some people with tight hamstrings will force the legs straight and be rounded, and that's not good. So I'd rather you have a little bend in the knee, flat back, until those hamstrings open up someday enough that you could take it with a straight leg. This pretty much is going to tap into every joint in your body. Be sure when you're in this up dog that your shoulders are back and out of your ears. You're not here lazing out on me. Keep it active. Finish each, each pose. Finish each pose like you're posing for the cover of a magazine. What's the cycling magazine? You want to be on that cover. You don't want to be all, right? And then go ahead, drop to your knees. And that's that. My favorite top yoga moves for cyclists. So we got the cat cow, opposite arm, opposite leg, bridge lifts, the silly hip jumps, up dog, down dog. Remember, two minutes, a little more, a little less, that's up to your body and where you are in your training cycle. Also, two to three times a week, don't forget my top yoga poses video, do that too. Be consistent, be great, and I'll see you next time.